Hello, Tendies, Friendies. Welcome back to Tendies Club. Got a great show for you. We actually have a great piece of journalism about cassava sciences. Who knew there was any uh, journalism left at all? And who knew that it would be uh, good uh, stuff about cassava sciences? So Compliance Week has a really fair article that cites everything uh, and, and covers the citizens' petition, all, petition and the games the shorts have been playing with the FDA uh, with cassava sciences. Uh, so let's get right into that. Not an investment advisor, not investment advice, not a tax advisor, not a tax advice, Tendies Club. Let's do it. Uh, please like and comment and chat and uh, uh, subscribe. Let's do it. So Lindsay Burns, Senior Vice President, Neurosciences at Cassava Sciences, and secretly, secretly the wife of the CEO. Oh, my gosh. They have, you know, family. Uh, she says, uh, for important context, read this article in Compliance Week. So this is a, comp a context around the citizen's petition, she's saying. I think she's also saying context around all the FUD. There's a good uh, quote, a, a new quote from Mr. Barbier in this article as well. This article came out on Compliance Week two days ago. We didn't. We had other stuff to cover yesterday. I see people are hitting like. Thank you for hitting like. Please hit like. You're going to like hitting like. Please hit like. The algorithm likes like. We can get more people to come and watch. Please hit like. And I see people are uh, see people are commenting too, chatting. Thank you very much. But this so this article is fact based. It's cited and linked. There's none of this according to sources familiar with the matter. According to people in the know, none of that stuff. It's here is uh, exactly what the FDA said, and here's where you can find it. Here's exactly what Cassava said, and here's where you can find it. It's, that's all, it's all cited and linked. There's no conjecture. It's actual journalism. So way to go, Jacqueline Yeager at Compliance Week. So this is behind a paywall. I was going to read the whole thing, and then I realized it's behind a paywall. So I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will read uh, sections. And by the way, just look by, so according to Cassava, there's no according to from, from people familiar, right? Any of that crap. Uh, according to... According to the FDA, and it's linked, and those, these things are linked. So, really appreciated the, the good journalism here. Okay, so this is uh, starting with Jordan Thomas, the uh, the lawyer who did the citizens petition. So Thomas requested Cassava's clinical trials be halted, which is ridiculous, pending an FDA audit, and that the FDA report its findings to law enforcement and regulatory authorities. Unbelievable stuff still angry about this stuff. In the original citizen's petition dated August 18th, Thomas certified that to the best knowledge and belief of the undersigned, this petition includes all information and views on which the petition relies and that it includes the representative data and information known to the petitioner which are unfavorable to the petition. Yet, on August 26th, Labaton Suchero issued a press release revealing the new information that Thomas' clients also hold short positions in cassava stock. Short selling is the practice of investors betting on a company's stock price falling, a strategy the Department of Justice is currently investigating. Re relevant to cassava, the individuals who raised allegations against the company had a vested interest in its stock price falling. But they said that uh, to the best knowledge and belief of the undersigned, Thomas said that this petition includes all information and views of which the petition relies and that it includes representative data and information known to the petitioner, which are unfavorable to the petition. Anything unfavorable to the petition, that would be it. So then, then later he came back and said, oh, by the way. Relevant to Cassava, the individuals who raised allegations against the company had a vested interest in the stock price falling. Four months prior to the filing of the citizens' petition in April, David Brett, by the way, we have pictures somebody sent of his uh, waterfront La Jolla property, if you want to see what he did with his ill-gotten gains. Four months, we'll, we'll look at those. Four months prior to the uh, filing of the citizens' petition in April 2021, David Brett who was later identified as one of the cassava short sellers, was appointed an executive partner at biotechnology investment firm MPM Capital, where he was to take a leading role in helping MPM explore a range of opportunities, including those presented by new developments in the understanding of neurological dysfunction, MPM stated. I just want to say again, according to, there's no according to anonymous stuff in this. 
And then on November 17th, three events of note regarding cassava case happened. So November 17th, Wall Street Journal claimed the SEC was investigating claims concerning cassava's research, citing people familiar with the matter. On all that same day, Thomas revealed the short seller's identities in a third addendum to the citizen's petition, in which he also referenced the Wall Street Journal's report in its entirety. And third, on that same day, MPM announced that it raised $51 million in capital for Protego Biopharma, a preclinical stage biotech company working on a competing Alzheimer's drug. Protego is a spinoff of Johnson & Johnson, where Brett worked prior to joining MPM. And this goes into the background of citizens' petitions being used for abuse. Uh, seven, and then this is about how the comments on the citizens' petition were all pro-Sava, basically. Uh, or they were not uh, pro the shorts anyway. Several comments in favor of cassava were submitted by those whose relatives either currently have or have died from Alzheimer's and pleaded to the FDA in support of the company. Only 11 of the 218 comments sided with the shorts, according to analysis conducted by Compliance Week. So they went through the, the comments and counted up which of the 218, how many were in favor of the shorts. Well, the shorts went in there and left 11 of them. As things stand currently, no government agency has accused us of any wrongdoing. No whistleblower has stepped up to corroborate any of the citizens' petition allegations, and the co-authors of the citizens' petition have not been able to produce any evidence to support their allegations, Cassava CEO Barbier told Compliance Week. So that's a new quote from Mr. Barbier that the, the Compliance Week got. Quote, no government agency has accused us of any wrongdoing. No whistleblower has stepped up to corroborate any of the citizen petition allegations, and the co-authors of this citizen petition have not been able to produce any evidence to support their allegations. Cassava CEO Barbier told Compliance Week, Cassava's clinical trials of Alzheimer's patients continue under the watchful eye of the FTC. I think that should be the watchful eye of the FDA. And then Jordan Thomas, who has since departed Labaton, such road decline requests for further comments. And then the $5 million home in La Jolla, it's got a beach. This is David. This is, I'm told this is David Bretz. It's got a beach or it's got a uh, ocean view in La Jolla. La Jolla, if you don't know, is like Beverly Hills on the water in San Diego. It's very posh, very posh. So that's, you've got a waterfront view. Very nice. Lots of champagne. And there's the view from the front of the mansion. How do you sleep at night? I guess in a room that big, it's easier. <laughs> and then we can check out the stock action. Cassava down almost 2% today. And I've zoomed in too much, huh? Gosh darn it. Urgh. All right. And then it's just cassava's down today, but what's working well, Cortex Zyme is up the most. Long bonds are also are also working. Gold, utilities. So that's all defensive stuff. Long bonds, gold, and utilities are the are numbers two, three, and four in the market. Cortex Zyme, which is getting getting destroyed, that does have the FDA hold. That's that's leading eig my favorite financials coming in fifth when all this that's one of the only things that's working energy's up 0.63 percent short bonds up 0.56 percent inhibit cases working up 0.42 percent australia's up 0.29 percent real estate is flat everything else is down Healthcare's down 0.03 staples are down 0.44 uh, corporate bonds are down 0.44 pipelines are down 0.68 tesla's down 0.79 percent uh, large bi biotechnology down 1.13%. The S&P itself is off 1.27%. Japan is off 1.36%. Materials are down 1.36%. Anavex is down 1.51%. Big tech, the Qs, the Qs, the big tech is down 1.53%. There's Cassava 1.64% down. Salesforce is right at $200 down 1.95%. Uh, Remember uh, Nancy Pelosi's calls are at 210 
Those are out of the money. XBI, the small biotechs down 1.9%. China down 2.05%. Immune Bio, small Alzheimer's player down 2.18%. Anovis down, small Alzheimer down 2.4%. Financials across the board down 2.46%. Russia down 2.76%, off more than 90% now with the whole index of where it was 15 years ago. Where food comes from, down 2.84%. Cardano down to 87 cents, now 2.84%. GameStop down 3.2%. Russia took another dive in the meantime, 3.28%. Uh, or something's been ju something jumped around anyway. Bitcoin down to 40,800. 40,900 to 3.66. The small caps broadly are down more than 4%. The Russell 2000, that's all the small caps down more than 4%. Good Lord. Europe is down more than 4%, 4.4% for Europe. Ethereum down more than 5%. Roblox is down to 42. Nancy Pelosi has calls at 100. <laughs> Those aren't going to work. AMC is down 5.7%. Uh, Goodness gracious, a bloodbath in the market today. It's a rough one as things in uh, Ukraine heat up to nuclear hot, unfortunately, or thereabouts. So uh, let's go to the phones. With that, my tendies, friendies, <laughs> let's go to the phones. Daily Mix. Hi, Joe. We love your show. Thank you, my friend. Thanks very much. I want to make a set. I got a, uh, I got, I got a screen. I, got, I wanted to get an adapter for my screen so I can point to my screen next to me and and sort of have a big room set feel. I'm excited for that for next week. We'll see when my adapter gets in. But thank you very much. I'm really excited to make the show better. Daily, hi, Joe. We love your show and always appreciate your outstanding work. Thank you. Alzheimer's patients looking up to, to, to you and see Superman Joe. Thanks, my friend. Thank you, Daily Mix. I really appreciate it. You've been supporting me the whole time, my friend. Thank you very much. We're in this together. It's, it's what we're doing. We're in this together. Daily Mix. Now, as far as the shorts go and price-wise, they have used all their big plays and they lost it all. At this point, price don't matter to me. I just keep buying and summer of 2022 approval is coming. I love it. I love it, my friend. Thank you. Those ad hoc analysis, we know we got that. We got biomarkers coming as well. And we got CMS data at some point too. All of those could push this over the line to, to break through therapy designation, rolling submissions, new drug application on the market. Mark Bailey. Hi, Joe. Some years ago, I remember a sketchy Wall Street trader by the name of Henry Block that got in serious trouble. Perhaps these current fudders are chip off the old block. Well, I, I looked into Carson Block. His dad was a uh, was uh, was a Wall Street guy, so maybe that that maybe that was I, I Henry Block. Actually, it was a different name. Or maybe it was Henry Block. I, I looked up his name. I couldn't find him. Carson Block's dad, because I was looking for John Block. So yeah, there's I'm not, I don't know anyone else. Well, I guess H and R Block. But I was going to say, I don't know anyone else with the name Block. And now, now there's four people named Block in finance. I, I, I guess they're related. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Carson, but Carson Block, by the way, he has issues. His, he, is, uh, his, uh, he came from like alcoholic parents. And uh, I feel bad for him. But he still has like big issues. I read this, this article. He's, he's like, still full of anger. He's like, he's like 45. And he's, just, he's still all angry, it seems. Looking for fights and stuff. I mean, hey. A daily Mix. Seeking FUD article is the short's dirty way to act like they still have a case, LOL. Yeah, but we all know they did that because they lost their citizen's petition and made FDA look, look like clowns that they are. Yeah, yep, indeed. Michael, Sava investors are frustrated with enduring share price slump, even touting it's time for a new CEO. When will we see Remy forcefully revert the rebut the shorts, rebut the shorts, and deliver data breakthrough designation a partnership? Well, let's see. So the biomarker data. Well, we we should hear from citizen from City University of New York this month, and then Journal of Neuroscience has already cleared them, but also said pending. We're going to totally officially clear them then pending the City University of New York. Well, I don't think uh, Dr. Wang. By the way, they they did a. Uh, I saw one of his things. They went through his other work and, and just challenged everything he ever did. One thing they found, they the, the team had to resubmit it, and and like, and the, it was like, yeah, we it was like they accidentally, like it had, had it was like it was they found that the the smallest most insignificant thing that made no difference at all, and they just so they they resubmitted the exact same data, uh, and it was like all they could say was like uh. Like you, it was, it was like, it was like a typo they found or something like it was, it was something like that. And so, oh yeah, thanks. It was like, thanks for finding the typo. This means nothing or something like that. But anyway, 
And that's going through everything Wang ever did. So anyway, there's not and there's not going to be anything wrong in my opinion. Uh, so there's that that'll, that should happen this month, I think. Uh, and then uh, then then maybe Mr. Barbier will feel a little more freed up. I don't know this, but maybe they'll this company will feel a little more freed up uh, to to release uh, more new, more news than hopefully it'll be received better by the market without that overhang. I don't know. I don't know. But there's biomarker data should be coming any time now. We got biomarker data in what August, and so now it's we're we're, we're due. We're due. That was six months, and now we have 12 months. We're due, and they said they're going to put it out, so we're due for that. Uh, we know the ad hoc data, they indicated in the press release uh, more than one release. It, it is multiple ad hoc data is possibly coming this year. Well, there's only 10 months, less than 10 months left, and multiple releases coming. Uh, we know that uh, by September, everyone will have been through the open label, and we got data at uh, 50 people at six months. Maybe we'll get 100 people at six months. Maybe we'll get 200 people at six months. That would come up. September, six months before that, I guess that's March. I guess that's now we can get all 200 people at six months. I think somebody, somebody might have said that the other day. So that would be this month. Uh, we, we have stuff coming. They could do a, they could do a uh, dividend. They could do partnership. They could do all sorts of stuff. And as we're talking, Sava's in the green. Hey, go Sava. How do you like that? Well, on such a, such a bad day in the market, Sava's up as we're speaking. Daily Mix, new CEO, no thanks. Remy's doing an amazing job ignoring the FUD and focusing on the goal. Shorts want investors to lose their faith and you are helping them feed into it. Keep focus on the goal. I've actually noticed a little bit of that, that people have been, even uh, even uh, that some of the non-FUDsters are, are, are taking the bait on the FUD a little bit. I, mean, I think there, there is definitely a sense of some fatigue in the, in the shareholder base. But, I mean, that's the way it is. But so don't yeah, hold fast, don't give in to the fatigue. Focus on the data, focus on the facts. And uh I mean, there, there's what the what the bad guys are doing is is I mean there's they're doing a lot of it, but they're out of bullets. They've done every they've accused every every the company every way they could and came up with nothing again and again and again. So Daily, we have a big Super Bowl with the shorts and we are destroying them. Yeah, we're destroying them. Except their fans are on the sidelines talk trash. Yeah, because they want us to focus outside the pitch. Exactly. Don't fall for my savages. Yeah, they want to put the emphasis on the, their, their, they want to change the narrative to focus on nonsense made up negatives that, are, that aren't there rather than the amazing data. Daily, plus it really is BS. The FDA said that their case is invalid. So for them to bring the same FUD in a different way ain't going to change how they played the game. Yep. Like, 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 Daily Mix, thank you very much. Anthony, when will, uh, when Remy will fight against the Shorters? Uh, hopefully soon, uh, maybe after Sunni. Thank you for all your videos. Stay savage. Thank you, my friend. We'll stay savage. Jeffrey can't see you. Don't know what that means. Biospace article published by one Vanessa Dr. RN. Hmm. Suggests Sava will suffer the same fate as Denali and Cordexime. Yes. Uh, their trials, if I read them correctly, were preclinical. Yes. It's, there's a risk. There's been in the risk factors of this biotech cassava since 2018. There's always a risk. The FDA could halt trials. Any biotech should have that. And they, when the, when the Fudsters couldn't say anything else, they seized on that, in that uh, language in the risk section and said, oh, look at this. Cortex Slime has safety issues. It always has. Semifilam does not have safety issues. It never did. It has an unbelievably great safety record. Unbelievably great. 149,000 doses and no adverse events. Come on. 149,000 doses and no adverse events. Mark Bailey and phase one, not in phase uh, three, and phrase one, not in phrase three, as is Sava's. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cortex Slime. Right, Prasava went through all of its. They went through extensive safety. You have to go through a lot of safety testing before you even get to phase one human safety testing, and then you expand out to larger base in, in phase two, which is safety and efficacy, and then even larger in phase two safety and efficacy. And then they did their whole open open label study, which normally that it, that ongoing open label study would be a, a, a lengthy uh, safety study after phase threes, but they went ahead and did it anyway, and still no adverse events. Leo Zach's article came out today, said surging option activities put price of $30 on August 19th. 
Zax would say such a thing. Thank you, Leo. Anna Wood, what is going on with this stock? <laughs> Where have you been, Anna? It's always been a nutty stock. It has always been a nutty stock. Leo, that doesn't work, does it? Leo, there were lots of bull and bear articles about Sava. Very hard to know, but any articles coming out close to earnings dates, 10K or specific dates are usually coming from shorts and FUDs, and they come out in clusters. They, they, they do campaigns together, and this latest attack was one of them with uh, going after the risks. And then Lane, Lane Simonian joined the party today, or yesterday, I guess. Kartik, short sellers war on cassava. It's similar like Russia invasion, Ukraine, at least world reacting on the Russia-Ukraine war. But no one's reacting here for cassava. Serious action should be taken against them. I That's that's an interesting view. I, I kind of, there's everybody in the world is going to be affected by Alzheimer's disease. And uh, I'm glad that people are concerned about Ukraine and Russia, as we all are. I'm glad we all are. But we should also be more concerned about this. I agree. Truthful, you should pronounce Labaton Suchero as Suckero with heavy accent to suck. Truthful, you have such a good... Th First of all, that's a great idea. You have such a great idea about the, uh, the, uh, the, the short videos. I'm so sorry I haven't recorded the, that thing yet. After I, uh, after I, I stop the stream today, I'm going to keep standing right here and record those and send them over. Thank you very much for your great idea. So, yes, yeah, Suckero. Yeah, Labaton Suckero from now on. You got it. <laughs> Labaton sucks a row. Jake. AccuGen down 15 to 22%. Vaccine EUA denied. Added Sava yesterday at 37 cents. Nice. AccuGen down on uh, European U EUA. I don't know what the EUA is off the top of my head, but too bad for AccuGen. Hi, Joe. Thanks for all the great stuff. Am I right suggesting Sava is the most undervalued stock in the market today considering its massive upside potential? In sure, in my opinion, yeah, it's. I mean, there's other good ones too, but it's got. I mean, there, there. It seems like the Alzheimer's. It sure seems like they've got an Alzheimer's drug that works and is safe. Holy cow! And it's worth less than two billion dollars. What should be worth more than a hundred billion? So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Joyce, both seeking alpha FUD articles in the last few days, not posted on Yahoo Finance. Maybe Yahoo News screening articles for truth. Maybe so. Maybe more likely is that uh, it's, you know, are, are you going to, you did Seeking, Seeking Alpha and Yahoo had a falling out anyway, and it was, it was over if they're going to share each other's stuff and how much they're going to pay each other and stuff. And so they don't, they, they had a falling out. UK. Hi, Joe. Thanks for all the great work. Am I right in thinking that Sava is the most undervalued stock in the market considering that I already read this question? Thank you, UK from Dubai. Soon as every cleared start. Yes. Sudeep, hi Joe. This is Saha again from Sava. Hey, my friend. Hey, hey, Sudeep Saha from Sava. Saha for Sava. Do you know when is the phase three when it will be completed? I'm 70% down on Sava stock. Can't see them now because it's will be a huge loss. Well, uh, the phase threes will go as far as maybe even three years. There's, there's the longer of them are scheduled to 18 months. Uh, but so it could, by the time they get it fully enrolled, it could be uh, that long. However, breakthrough the therapy designation was made for this indication and this drug. Breakthrough therapy designation, there's two requirements for it. The first is that the disease is serious or deadly. Well, Alzheimer's disease is always fatal, always. And the second is that uh, there's, there's, there's preclinic, there's preliminary evidence that what that your drug is better than what's on the market. Well, there's a lot of preliminary evidence, and cassava should already have breakthrough therapy designation, and they already met with the person at FDA that does breakthrough therapy designation and released a press release about it, and then uh, went into the cognition maintenance study, which is placebo controlled, and so we'll get results of that. In my opinion, that will be the thing that gets us breakthrough therapy designation. However, there's also they also expanded the open labels out of that meeting as well. Uh, well, we'll be getting ad hoc data uh, from that as well, inclu and including biomarkers. So the case for BTD is getting better and better and better, and I, I believe we'll get it be way, well before phase three. So phase three is completed. Jeffrey, hello. Hen Henry was Carson Block's dad, not Jonathan. No relation that I could find. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find any relation with Jonathan or Carson either. So, Henry, okay, it was Henry that was Carson's dad. Thank you. Thank you. 
Daniel, after everything's cleared up, after everything is clear, it would be time for lawsuits against all these people. And I really think that's their plan. I, I don't know, but I happen to think that's their plan too. And I don't know, but in addition to whatever else they're doing, I don't know, but I believe amongst other things, they, they will, I believe they're, they're going to get legal. Banning somebody for their porn site. Daniel, if Russia defaults, our market will be down about 7%. Okay, thank you. Jay, how can doing a blockchain dividend for the purpose of revealing counterfeit shares not be a legitimate business decision? Agreed, although I don't think they can do that and say that. They have to, uh, I, if they did a, an NFT dividend to get awareness, raise awareness about their trials, that is a great idea because they got to get those trials enrolled. And if the shorts get screwed, too bad. And then uh, they can do a preferred share because there eventually there'll be a cash infusion like they talked about. Well, they do a preferred share and that gives them optionality to issue cash that way. So you can do it that way too. A legitimate, another legitimate business reason. But I, I, I'm starting to like the NFT to, to, get in, in, to get enrollment up. Greg, there must be something good going on with the Saba trials. So the shorts and Saba competition working hard to put FUD out to create panic selling. Yeah, they, I, they, the... the their FUD attacks always precede good news. They must know soon he's coming and that uh, uh, it's going to be good news for us. Jay, by the way, Joe, the stockholders appreciate everything you do. Thanks. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, Jay. We are in this together, my friend, and we are on the good side, the right side. We will win. Could Cassava sue Dr. Brett and company? I think so. I'm not a lawyer, but I think so. I, and I hope they do. I kind of think they might. I don't know. I wish I had more ammo to load up on more Sava. Hopefully the war ends and we can be back to the 50s. Oh, way, way better than the 50s, buddy. Way better than the 50s, buddy. David, thanks for all your great uh, content and work, Joe. Best wishes from Austria. Always watching. Thank you, David. Thanks very much. Uh, Danka. <laughs> Danka. Uh, Danka. Uh, gosh, I used to know my German. I, I, this is the second time I got to face the fact I don't know my German anymore. Jeez. <laughs> I just don't know. R. Changang. Hi, Joe. Thank you for your hard work. Remy should hire. Speak. Well, uh, uh, yeah, we can get, we can get Rainer to, to uh, Rainer, Rainer and Jan, Jan Jan uh, can, can speak for uh, David, uh, some German for you, David. R. Changang. Hi, Joe. Hi, R. Changang. Thank you for your hard work. Remy should hire you as their lead uh, public relations. Uh, his own PR officer, if they have one, is not doing a great job. Yeah, they're being, they, they, they know they're being quiet right now. Thank you very much. They know they're being quiet right now and, and they would like to, uh, they would like not to be, but they, they've got their strategy and we'll see how it goes. Hey, Joe, appreciate your efforts. That said, I don't agree with Daily Mix about Remy. I'd like him to be more active talking about his company or at least explaining why he is choosing not to. Yeah, I, I mean, eventually it's coming. It might be they want City University of New York to be cleared first. I don't know. Uh, but they're, they, they're, they'll they'll do something at some point. I'm not. I, I don't know. Thank you. Emergency use authorization. I should I should have known that. Thank you. EUA. So Occugen did not get emergency use. I guess for COVID. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. BlackRock will want a new CEO if Remy will do nothing before May. Is that right? Brian, good work, my man. Thank you, Brian. Fresh script in the Discord message. Okay, I will read it. Thank you so much, my friend. R. Changang, Akujen is trying to bring a traditional vaccine for COVID for kids. Okay, okay, okay. Not mRNA to the U.S. They ran a massive trial in India on kids and applied for EUA. It was bound to be rejected by the FDA. Well, I, I know this is touchy, but a lot of people think that, well, kids are not really at risk, right? So why are you putting these risky vaccines in them? And I know that some some kids are at risk, so I, I don't mean to overstep my bounds there. But that's that's uh, I, where, where I'm going with that is it seems that the political winds changed on that, and 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 the, now that the lockdowns and the mandates are not allowed to happen, it seems like they're backing off of the kids as well. And maybe that was a bit of a political decision. You don't get the you don't get the jab the kids anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mean to, I don't mean to act like I know everything about it or that there's no risks for kids or something like that. But that was my. My, my reaction is that's part of a political decision, but who knows? Anthony, new CEO, Joe Springer, I vote for you. <laughs> Poor Remy founded that company and got us all the way here. <laughs> but you know what? If you want to make me CEO, uh, Mr. Barbier, if you want to step aside, I, I will take over. You can, you can be chairman. 
you can be chairman and and and, uh, and you can wield power and I'll, I'll be the face that'd be fun that'd be a lot of fun <laughs> R. Changeng, since we need to give our kids mRNA vaccines, which lose effectiveness in a few months, thanks to Dr. Fauci, Mardana, and Pfizer cronies, also one of the most shorted stocks on Wall Street like Saba. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Thank you. When are you going to announce the first Tendies Club tour stop? I guess in Austin at some point. They're not in, like, maybe when they move into their building, we can uh, we can go do a, go <laughs> help them <laughs> once they're done moving and not help them move. <laughs> well, maybe we can go have a moving party, help them move. That'd be fun. <laughs> bitte schön, bitte schön. So, uh, so danke bitte. Okay, that, that one's coming back. Gosh, I, I used to know my German. Oh my goodness, I just don't. Uh, my guess is Remy is overwhelmed. He needs more staff, and once you're overwhelmed, it's very hard to hire. It, yeah, it really, it's true. Because now it's even more work. You've got to hire somebody. you got to train them. And by the time it gets a payoff, it's like a whole, there's that whole period where they're actually more of a burden until so they're more of a help. <laughs> yeah. So that's, yeah, that's true. It's true. It, these guys, gosh, they got so much to do. They, they would have had so much to do if there was no such thing as these shorts and fudsters ruining everything or trying to ruin everything. So they have just so much to do to play defense with these guys. So it's 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 tough, but. I think they're doing a good job, all things considered, and I think we'll hear more from them. I think this is we'll get a better, we'll get we'll get some more from them. All right, my tendies friendies, wish my dog Mister a happy twelfth birthday. We just went for a long walk, uh, so I think I'm gonna if he's 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 resting now and his hips aren't what they used to be, so if he's up for it, we'll go again. But uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna I'm gonna I'll sign off and pay some more attention to him. P.A.W. says, Joe, worst case scenario, the, so it's, it's I, I say, I've been saying SUNY, it's actually City University of New York, doesn't resolve definitively favorably. Your thoughts on the viability of semifilam in phase three, long and strong, and that's the one risk that bugs me a bit. Well, it, I don't really don't, I mean, I really don't think it's a risk. I, I, mean, I don't think Dr. Wang did anything wrong. They may find, oh, by the way, in the thousands of pieces of like stuff that you reported, here's an insignificant keystroke error, and that's all we could find or something. But he's their best. He, he's like their. He's one of the most tenured, highly regarded professors. That he, like he does more like teaching there than that, just about anybody. He's he's one of their very best, and uh, they're they'll. He didn't do anything wrong, and he's one of their best. They're not going to throw him under the bus for no reason. He didn't do anything wrong, in my opinion, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Uh, and and it, and it doesn't matter the, there if there's no safety risks, if none of the 149,000 doses with no adverse events. So if people are even if the drug wasn't working, as long as there's no safety risks, they're not going to stop those trials. They could say, you know what, the, there was uh, this method of action is way off. In fact, it was fraudulent. But it doesn't matter because 149,000 people have had no adverse events. So as long as people in these studies are, are okay, then there's, there's the ongoing open label. There, there's still ongoing studies, the CMS, and nobody's having any problems at all. So as long as it's safe, they're not stopping those trials. The, the method of action could be proven to be fraudulent, it, it, it's been, and, and they, would be, they wouldn't stop the trials. They're not, there's, it's safety uh, that would stop us. They don't, they don't need the method of action. So, oh, thanks, guys. Uh, so I'll get to thanks in a minute because we'll go chronologically. Uh, could you organize an investors meeting with Cassaba? Many of us have invested hundreds of thousands and would love a private update. I mean, five times a week we have a we have a <laughs> Cassaba uh, private meeting. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, we couldn't get any new information. Uh, he would, you know, so we Mr. Barbier could say the same things that he, you know he, he said all along, I and mean, he might be. The thing is, he would, he would be, he'll eventually he will do another. He did an interview with us, and he will do another one, he said, but he needs a rain check for the moment. But I'll, I'll organize one when we can. But people are saying, happy birthday, Mr. Bud. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, says Joyce. Happy birthday, Mr. says Jay. Thank you, guys. Happy birthday, Mr. says Art Changang. Happy birthday from Quebec, says Anthony. Thank you, guys. Congrats, Mr. from me and Gusta, two years in a week. Ah, congrats. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. That's what I wanted to hear you say. Great. Okay, cool. Thank you, PAW. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for the thank yous and thanks for the likes. 
Uh, we'll do this on Monday. I want to hopefully I'll have a, a, a set uh, by then. I might need, might need to get my uh, my adapter or whatever, but we'll get we'll get a set going. We'll make the, the show a, a little bit better. And uh, so over the weekend, I'll try to get that going, that stuff going. Be really good. Uh, thanks so much. I'll uh, see you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. See you Monday.